This is 99% craps. Heart's 10, heart's 10. There you go. There's the number. I'll take the full odds on the 10, 200 on the hard way. The limit on all the numbers, 250 on the 11. Thank you very much. Say, you played this game before. Just once. Welcome to the Red Eye Gamblers podcast. High above the second largest city, west of the Mississippi. Two chronic craps players. Talking craps. Playing craps. Thinking craps. This is 99% craps. Coming up on 99% craps. We didn't make it to the Lake Charles casinos. So we did the next best thing practice on the craps table at home. We talk through our approach and explain all of our bets. So let's get to it. Wednesday, April 19th, 2023, episode 57. The Red Eye Gamblers present 99% Craps. get started um we are welcome everybody we're at the uh the home casino um in uh, houston texas and uh we're gonna play a little bit i guess we haven't been on the uh on the podcast lately so uh pretty much the podcast has been uh, about our trips to the casino and we haven't made one in a while so unfortunately that means we hadn't made a podcast so thought we'd do another uh another little uh, practice session so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do that so we're here at the home casino the question is is what is the bankroll going to be well you know we talked last couple days ago uh 66 dollars sixes and eights so i would say 1500 okay probably would be about where i'd be if i'm going to play 66 six and eight yeah and i think that's something that we, we can talk about you know as as we play is you know kind of where we want to be for our next trip to the casino so um so yeah so let's go ahead and count out 1500 um and uh well and i think you know we, we like 66 because that takes you directly to 150. 150. And that is a nice, well, who taught us that move? That's an old school move from uh, Uncle Richie. That's Uncle Richie way back in the day. That's a character that we'll have to get into one day. Um, but yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, if we want to if we want to end up at 150, then we want to start at 66 on our sixes and eights. So yeah, so let's go ahead and do $1,500 banks and Started sixty dollar at the sixty dollar level on the fives and nines, and the sixty six dollar level on the um, on the sixes and eights. Because if one sixty six hits, it pays seventy seven, and okay. then you just need seven. You just got to throw seven bucks in, and you're all the way to one fifty. You're one fifty. One fifty and one move, basically, and then one fifty pays one seventy five, and then you get your options after that. Yeah, you can go back down, or if you go down to thirty, you've really cleared off some money. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing, yeah, if you're at 66 and then you go down to 30, you can just milk it from there because then you're all paid for and you just took in, you know, over a couple hundred bucks, so. But of course, you have to hit that number twice for that to work. That's true. Got hit all right, twice. so I'm going to assume we're at at least a $15 table because I don't know that Lake Charles is less than 15 bucks. Uh, I would say that we might as well just go ahead and play $25 tables because the chances of us getting on a 15 could be slim and we can probably find openings at 25. So. All right, all right. So $25 pass line. $25 pass line. And that's if you're playing. So I'm not, when I'm not shooting, I'm not playing on the pass line. So basically when you're shooting, you're on the pass line. Now, are you playing on the ATS? No, not my first roll because, yeah. of course, I just rolled a three. So I know you just rolled a three. That cost me 25 bucks. Two, one, three. AC Ducey. Deuce, deuce. Hard four. Hard four. So I am going to go 66 on six and eight. 
Yeah. You know what? I'm actually just going to do a 5 and 9 for 60. Which means I'm going to hit 6s and 8s. Right. You know right. Alright, I'm going to put 50 on the uh, on my odds on the 4. And of course, that is a five two. Seven five out. two seven out. That was a roll of three, sir. That yeah. was a roll of three. That's not a good start. And I'm happy I only put two bets out there instead of more than two. So, all right, nice try there, Junior. All right, so twenty five dollar table. Um, I'm gonna do ten zero ten. On the ATS? On the ATS. And I'm going to shoot from straight out. And a 1 4 for 5. Point now is 5. I'm going to stick with the six and eight at sixty six. And you're going to go sixty six on six and eight and sixty on nine. How much are you putting on uh, the odds behind the pass line? 300. 300. Four, three, seven. Are you fucking kidding? Ugh. All right, well, that's two in a row, basically points out. That really hurts your bankroll when you, when you do that. All right, let's see if these dice can get hot. I'm back on the pass line. Short roll, short roll is a six and a three, six, three, nine, center field nine. Short roll, sir, we need to have those dice hit the back wall, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to try again for the 66 on the six and eight. going to put 150 on the odds on the 9. Okay. And I'm on the 6 and 8 and on another bet we'll talk about it later. That is a 4-2. Four, 4-2-6. Two, four, two, Alright, so finally hit 6. So I am going to give seven dollars plus my seventy-seven and my sixty-six, and that takes my six all the way to one hundred and fifty. Yeah, what you said. All right, shooter. There you go. That's a nice one. Four, six, ten. Four, six, six, four, ten. Field roll ten. Four, one. Four, one, five. Three, two, five. I need 
need the other side. I need the Niner. Oh, there's a winner. 6-3. Six, 6-3. Three. Six, three. Field row 6-3. So my 150 pays two and a quarter. Plus 25 on the pass line. Thank you, sir. And you lost your dumb pass. I did lose my bet I wasn't going to talk about, mm -hmm. which was be my dumb pass. So I'm a seventy-five dollar don't pass one bye bye. Oh, back to it. Five, four, Five, nine. Four, nine. All right. Well, now this time I am just going to play fifty on the on the odds. I'd really like to hit a six though. Four, six, ten. Field roll ten. Oh, there's my six. There it is. Four, two, four, two, six. Okay, so my uh, one fifty pays one seventy five. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to take my 150 that I bet, pull that down and just go back up with 30. So now I am going to put 200, I'm putting $300 back on my rail. Between the 175 that I won and the 150 that I had, leaving 30 up there, I am pulling 300 back onto the, uh, onto my bank. Not too shabby. That is the way I'm, to do uh, it. I'm taking my 150 down to 90. One three, one three four, field roll four. I say field roll when we never play the field. Right. Well, that's how the boxman does call it. It is, it is. Another three. One two, ACDC. Look at that, nobody played the ATS. Three. Um, all I need not is. Not on this one, not on you. I need a, I need a two to finish the small. I need a two, yeah. And an eight, eleven, twelve to finish the big. You talked seven. about it too much. Yeah. There's your seven. Four, three, seven. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven rolls. Twelve rolls. That was your twelfth roll. That wasn't too terrible. Well, that helped me get almost out of the hole. Well, and so I knew that you probably could hit a second point, so I needed to make up my $75 I lost on my don't pass, so I bumped up my don't pass to $150 don't pass. Well, I appreciate the confidence. And then you didn't hit it, so I got my 150 so I got my 75 bucks back, and now I'm up 75 so whoo, got lucky there. But I was thinking about that's probably what I need to do when I'm doing my don't pass is I've never doubled up. I mean, I, I, I was doing that, that uh, Martingale. Right. Yeah, you know, when we were in Vegas, when we were in New Orleans, when I got burnt that oh, bad that, time. Because that went, uh, that went from 75 to 225 to 700. Or, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was around, so I think it was around 900 was my last, but nine something. But that was fast, fast. Like within a half hour, I had uh, lost like 2,500 bucks. Yeah, that was a great story. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. That was the first night in New Orleans on a Friday night. And well, like, and that was because we had talked about it being such a chaotic space that... It was a Friday night in New Orleans around midnight. And, and, and then 
It wasn't it that father and son that Yeah, it was shot. father and son. They never shot together, and he was explaining the game to his son. And it was just like all the things that we thought were going to be You can't explain the game while on, you're on a Friday night and have like a 40 roll. Yeah. I mean, they hit like, well, that's the thing. The dad, we were there watching the dad. Dad like had a 40, 50 roll, hit like four points, and was teaching his son how to play. Then we got on the son. Oh, saying, we, you got a mouse in your pocket, buddy. That I'm was sorry, all, that was that me. Was, that was all you. <laughs> well, I was like, there's no way you can follow up big roll with big roll, especially if you're explaining the game on a Friday night when everything's so chaotic. But boy, was I wrong. Well, we should have known the, the first time roller always. Yeah, the virgin, that virgin roller might have trumped that all. Yeah. The virgin yeah. roller actually probably trumped that all. Yeah. But, yeah, the Martingale system doesn't work at all. But that all being said, I think just a single double, though. That's the thing. If I get burnt twice on you, then you need I'm, to stop. Not, I'm not going to be able to. But if, they, if they've if made two points, chances of them making a third is statistically much lower. <laughs> uh, I just got to get over this. I hate going back up there with the same bat and winning because then I'm already down again. It's like I should have gone up with double. Because that's, I think, what you do when you when you're on – the don't side of things. The longer in the roll, the better your odds are. And so therefore, if you've got the opportunity to make a bigger bet towards the end, then make a bigger bet. But I think there's still a loss limit that yeah. you have, and I think it's a two loss limit. Per, yeah, yeah. Well, I you tell know. you, you've done talk so much about it, I'm going to put a $50 don't pass. Just, uh, just on me? Just for you. Just on me? Yeah, well, okay. So that all being said, I'm going to put $20 on the... Uh, ATS, tall and small, for $10. And I got Explain four. why you don't put something on the all. Oh, well, to save that bet. So basically, I could have done a $25 and done 10, ATS 5, 10. and done 10, 5, 10. But instead of risking that $5 to hit all, I'd, I know that the odds of hitting that all are really, really slim, so I don't even worry about wasting that dollar I mean, I'll, I'll, or that money. And so it's like I'd rather I'm, – I'm really playing that bet to win half of that bet versus all of that bet. You know, over all the years, how many times have we actually hit the, the I could probably ATS. count it on one hand. Uh, I would say we probably have hit it in the teens. You think so? I mean, I've hit I've, one I've, side. Out of all the years that we've been playing, uh, yes. Well, I mean – I've hit one side a ton of times, yeah, which, is, yeah. which is why I usually just play the half bet. Right. But, I mean, we've hit the full ATS. Uh, well, we haven't hit it enough to make me want to bet. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of really where it's at. I, I hit the sides enough, and so I like putting the $10 out there. That Instead of doing 5 5 5, five Yeah. 10, 10, no, zero, everybody 10, does 5 5 5, five or 10 10 10, you know, yeah. something like that. I'd rather just do 5 0 5 or, five, or 10 0 10. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather you, you know, 25 0 25. Yeah. You know, that's going to what, pay 575? Uh, I think somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah. Um, my math is not here. But, today. yeah. No, right, I like shooter. that. Put the dice in the air, shooter. Okay, so we're ready to start next next round. All right, I've got a go. $50 don't pass. You're on the pass line, and you've got a 10 uh, 10 10 ATS. I do. So we're getting ready to start. Six one seven, seven winner. There goes my. Uh, now this is another reason why I don't. Now I only lost twenty dollars instead of twenty five dollars. I've got twenty five dollars on the pass line, so, so now I you actually get a nickel. keep a nickel because I'm not betting that nickel in my bonus. Sorry. All right, here we go. Roll number two. Hey, there you go. Five, three. All right, well, I'm going to do the $66 six. And since the point is eight, I'm just going to do 60 on that. So that'll pay 70. And actually, I'm going to do 25 on the five and nine. I think the shooter's gonna get something going. <laughs> he better. He better. I 
Alright, I'm inside and I've got odds. Here we go. Six, two, eight, winner. Back to back. Yeah, you are pretty good at back to backs. Alright. And that's actually kind of your MO. Alright, so I had $300 odds. So that's nice. Three pays three sixty, and my sixty paid seventy. Right. And your six is a dollar short. You're at sixty five. It needs to be sixty six. Or six. Oh, 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 yeah. Gotcha. The dealer was not paying attention. Sorry. Alright. One down, several more to go. One, three, four is now the point. Since you've already hit a point, I am just at uh, playing a five and nine at a quarter and six and eight at thirty. All right, and I'm back to being inside. The point is four. Three, three, six. Hard six. Hard six. So my thirty pays thirty-five. I am going to go ahead and do a full press to sixty-six. I'm going to add a dollar. And I have 66, so I'm gonna put in my seven, make that one 50. All right, here we go. Six, one, seven. Oh. Damn it, I can't go at all. That was your fifth row. That wasn't enough at all. Back up on the pass line for 25. And I am going to follow your lead and do a 10 0 10 on the ATS. There you go. I would bet with you, but I can't. I appreciate that. See? See? Well, that hurts your. Uh, that hurt me way I, much. I just made five bucks. You made five dollars. That's a five, two, seven. That's a seven. Take the don'ts, pay the line. And my $25 pass line covered my ATS and left me with a $5 profit. Four, two, soft Four, six. Two, six. Easy six. All right, I'm gonna do 100 on the Six on my odds, and I'm going back up with a 66 on the eight. And I am going to play the five and nine for a quarter. Oh, box cars! I need that. Six, six. That's good for my uh, ATS. That is good for the ATS. So I'm going to throw in seven bucks and raise my 66 plus the 77 all the way to 150. And of course, six, six one, one, seven out. That was only four. Yeah. Somebody else 
has to do it. All right. Well, you you uh, I think you're gonna hit some points this time, so I'm gonna play with you on the pass line. Back up on the ATS. I'm on the ATS. I'm on the pass line. Here we go. Let's... Five, two, seven. Give me a nickel. Give me a nickel. And I get 25. And I'm going to play that on the field. Okay, box cars. Box cars! <laughs> How about that? How about, uh, All right, so I lose my pass, but yeah. I get triple pay on the box cars. So I earn my back plus. All right, I'm gonna leave my pass. I'm gonna put a pass line back up and leave the field for another twenty-five. Five, two, seven. So now you just lost the twelve that you got for your uh, yeah. ATS, but, but I get you get nickel. another nickel, and my uh, pass line pays for my field. So I'm even there, and I'm going to keep it on the field. One, three, four, pay the field. New point is four. Pay the field. All right, so the field that just paid me, I'm going to put the, that 50 bucks as my odds. And I am going to, once again, I'm going to do the 66 on the six and eight. We need to get something going here. Right. And you know what? I feel like we're gonna put 50 on five and nine. All right, I'm loaded up and we're ready to go. Six, two, ocho. So I'm gonna put seven on my eight. And that is going to 66 and 77 plus my 7 is going to be 150 on my 8. Ditto. I think that's what Patrick Swayze said to uh, Demi Moore in Ghost. Three, one, four, winner! I'm gonna see Patrick Swayze help me with that. Every time she told him I love you, he would say ditto. Because he never said I love you. There you go. Yeah. Alright, so my 50 pays 100. And the $25 pass line, thank you. And you had some my money behind your... My 300 uh, pays 600. I had some catching up to do. Uh, right. You still got some. We still both got some catching up to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Four, five. Now the point is niner. So I had fifty on nine. I am just going to slide that down as my. Point, as my uh, odds on the point now, so. Yeah, it's 60 on mine. I'm actually gonna take my odds up to 100. But then I'm inside on the five, six, and eight, and then uh, $100 odds on the, uh, on the point of nine. So, here we go. Eight, hard eight, hard eight, very nice. Um, we both are at 150, so that is going to pay 175. And I, once again, am going to take that down to $30. And I'm going to rail a nice chunk of money. And I actually am going to take all my bets down to 30, 30 on the 6 and 8, and 25 on the nickel. And keep my fifty dollar odds on the nine. And I'm taking my eight to a hundred and twenty dollar eight from my one fifty dollar eight. Five, one, six. I am going to take thirty-five 
and I am actually going to raise my six from 40, or excuse me, from 30 to 42. And I'm taking my 66 to 150. So I will take the $10 from the 35, add $2, and then I will take a quarter back on the six. So now my six is paid, well, it was already paid for, but now it's definitely paid for. And I'm at 42, 42 on the next hit will pay 49. And there's nothing more than I love throwing the dealer a dollar and having given me two blue chips. One, six, seven, I don't get You're to do that. You were celebrating too much. I was, yeah, well, we were on a roll there. I was on a roll. That yeah, was six. Six, that's not a very big roll. <laughs> no, not a big roll at all. But, you know, when you hit the, when you get it up to 150 and you can hit it and you go back down. Sure, no. You know, you, I put some money back on my rail because I was decimated. Oh, well, yeah. No, I mean, I made that extra 600 from the $300 yeah. odds yeah, that on the four. That was huge. All right, I am back up on the $25 pass line. And I have a four, six, ten as the new points. Easy ten. I'm gonna continue the pain and try to do the sixty-six dollar uh, six and eight again. And I am going to do a fifty dollar six five and nine. See now you do sixty on uh, five and nine, but I do fifty because I like when the fifty pays seventy, I'll leave ten out there and make it sixty. And then I'm pulling back 60, so that bet is completely paid for. See, and I plan on going to 85. Yeah, you do it a little bit different than me. All right. Let's see if we can do something. Well, here. for this, you add $6 to make it 150. Six, three, niner. So my 50 pays 70. Hey, look, I'm on the nine. Yeah. And then actually what I... What I will do is I will take the twenty dollars that is, and I will make my six, my or excuse me, my five and nine both sixty, and now my nine is paid for, and now I'm at sixty on both of them. Cool. But you are bumping yours all the way to one fifty. Yeah. So I'm just taking my so six, sixty dollar nine. Sixty pays eighty four. Eighty four plus six makes it one fifty. Is one fifty. So six dollars. To my 60 makes it 150. So now I'm at 159. Five, oh, five, three, three eight. eight. I thought that was a six, three, but five, three. All right, so I'm going to add my, eight. my $7 to my 66. And now I will have an eight, an eight that is 150. Three, two, five. Three, two, five. Five. So now I have a five that's already at sixty. So I'm going to take eighty-four because I need to rail some money. And I'm taking my sixty-dollar five to a one fifty-dollar five. Four, three. See, me taking some money. Four, three. Seven. Credit seven. Yeah. I need some red chips. I need some chips. <laughs> Probably am down about a thousand dollars already. Well, we only start with fifteen. Yeah. All right, I need this next shooter to actually do something. Well, right now he's trying to count a hundred dollars of red chips. He's got it. Small. 
All right, I'm on the pass line. Here, kid. Come on, shooter, shooter, shooter. There we go. There we go. This is my third time. I think. Uh, we've done. This is like a fourth. I think fourth. Is it four? Six four. Easy ten is now the point. I'm doing $60, 6 and 8 this time, because I'm low on money. And I'm going to play 100 on my odds. Second shot, so we all know what's gonna happen. Either a 10 or out. Four, two, Four, six. two, something new. Alright, so my 60 pays 70. And so this time I am gonna throw $20 down and make it 150. So 60 paid 70, which is 130, and then I'll throw 20 in to get it get me to 150. So now my six is at 150. I got my six at 150. Five, one, six. Back. You do a lot of back to back. So now we both get on our 150. That is going to pay 175. Leave it up there for another roll or two. I, I, I like this shooter. I do too. I'm going to say the same. Three, three, six, hard, six, three in a row. I left myself at 150, so that is going to be 175. And although I like this shooter, now I'm going to go down to 30. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I would too. Uh, three in a row. Um, I'm taking. I got to put some money on the on back on the rail, and that is exactly what I am doing with that. You know, I think when you're at the casino, you have to. Uh, I'm taking my six and eight down to thirty a piece now, but I mean I've hit at one fifty twice, so that's three fifty uh, plus the initial money that I. So I mean. I'm putting money on my rail. Those bets are paid for. Yeah. Now, if you keep rolling, I'm ready just to keep pressing. But, you know, I had to, eight. So now I had to put back. You know, you got to make something. Yeah. So yeah. now my 30 pays 35. And I will do a full press to 66. I will add a dollar. And now my eight is at 66. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, well, if you, well, I mean, you hadn't hit the eight. For, that was your first hit on the eight. But that you, was my first hit. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of people are probably thinking, "Well, why didn't you just stay at you know 150 or go up on your six? Well, you know, how many rolls can when somebody hits a number three times, how many more do you really expect them to hit it? Exactly. Before that seven comes out, six one, more. six, seven. So I mean, you had six rolls, but yep. I made three hundred fifty dollars and pulled down the yep. majority of my bets. So I mean, I really did very good that time. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I was just trying to hit the point, and then I would have been fine, but I was good other than that. And believe me, I still left up there 100 behind my odds, 25 on the pass, 30 on 6, and 66 on 8. So, I mean, well, I still that was, my... again, still only 6 rolls. Exactly. Which is, again, why we don't leave a lot out there for a long time. Well, I mean, when you statistically look at it, what is the average... For a seven to pop, it's what six point two, something like that. Six point it's one, it's one in every six rolls. But it's, it, I thought it was like six point one two or something like that, something a little funky. Mm, I can't remember. All right, well I'm back up on the pass line. Four one five is now the point. And I think I'm just going to stick with the 60 on the uh, 6 and 8 because I'm tired You're of not playing. not pressing it? No, I am going to press it, but I'm tired of playing with white chips. 
<laughs> so when the sixty, yeah, I know. So you still just the gonna... sixty hits. It pays seventy. And then I just, instead of throwing seven dollars in, I'm throwing. 20, I, I understand. It's instead of seven, but you're just being lazy. I a little bit. All right, I am gonna go with one fifty on my odds behind my five. I am gonna do a fifty dollar nine, and we are gonna get something going here. Of course, that's it's like the last word you say. When you... Right. Yo. Five six. Five six. Yo. That is a one four, four five. One, five a it's winner. a winner. Yeah. So my one fifty pays two twenty five. Plus twenty five for the pass line. Thank you very much. Sixty pays eighty four. Fifty pays eighty-four. Fifty pays seventy. Seventy and ten pays fourteen. So fourteen and seventy is eighty-four. Well, you know, just in case people think we're no, just, exactly. Just, so we're throwing out numbers. I mean, there is. We're, you know, we're throwing out a lot of numbers fast. So yeah. But the math but, is but there. But they're all. It all stays the same. Five, three, eight. So eight is now the point. Second point. Second point. So I'm going to go ahead and divide. I'm going to t play a 25 on the five and nine, and I am going to put 60. The 60 I had on the eight, I'm going to put behind as the odds, and I've still got 60 on six. This is my fifth roll. And I'm going back up to be uh, five, six, eight, and nine. And sure enough, six one seven. Out. Six one seven. This is why we also don't like talking at the table. Well, that's true. We are doing a lot of talk. And that, yeah. I mean, that's probably one of our biggest things is we don't talk at the table. So that's probably the weirdest thing about what's going on. Well, and that has a lot to do with being focused. Being focused, and and well, and, and we've always we've always thought that once you start doing math, you're using a different side of your brain, and then you try to go back and throw. And yeah. yeah. Once, when you when you're shooting, you should just fo be focused on shooting, and not all the other stuff. But anyway, all right. All right, I'm all back right. on the pass line with you. I was gonna say this probably should be our last. I was gonna say we're where are we at on the clock? Yeah, 42. Yeah, it's time. It's, all right, so it's a, it's a long episode. So me and then you, and that'll be it. Okay. So all right. So I'm $25 on the pass line, but in normal, $10 tall, $10 small. Let's see you hit that. Nobody said right? that. Right? We need to hit that. It's been a while. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Four, one, Four, five, one five is now the point. I'm coming back with a 60 on 6 and 8. And I am going to do 100 on the odds behind the 5. And I'm back to 66, 6 and 8, $60, 9. My $25 pass line. With 300 on odds behind it, the point is five. This is my second shot. We know how this goes. <laughs> You're due. Four, three, seven. Four, three, <coughs> seven. All right, well. I'm not sure this practicing is going to work for the podcast. <laughs> We're going to have to edit it so we seem like we're winners at least. Right? Yeah. We'll have to, I'll take that. That'll be episode number two. I'll take the same episode and make it like we won. All right. I'm going back up on the pass line. Oh, come on, cheater. 
This is it. Aces. Aces cost you twenty five dollars. That's a two. And not even nobody's on the ATS. No, but this is the time where it hits. Six, six one. one seven. So now the deuce now comes the deuce down, but away. I get I get my quarterback. On the if anybody line. wants to play on the ATS, now you can. Clickety clack, that's a yo, five, six. So I'm going to take that $25 and put it on the. Uh, in your field? On my field. I don't know, every once in a while I like to do that. Four, five, nine. Pay the field. Center field, nine. The point is now niner. All right, well, I'm going to go back to 150 on the odds. I'm going to go. 60 on the 6 and 8, and 50 on the nine, uh, 5. Well, and since this is the last sheeter, I'm just going to go ahead and do 150, 5, 6, 8, and 9. 5, 6, yo! 5, 6, yo! Ace. 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 That's a big two. That's a big two. Who's, who's on the horn? That is a 6-6. Six, six. Ooh, box, box cars. cars. That's four rolls in a row that are uh, horn bets. And nobody's on it. No. Five, one, six. All right, so I'm going to put 20 in and raise my 60 with the 70 winnings to 150. And what did you do? I'm pressing mine, my 150 to 300. So you pocketed a uh, quarter. Pocketed a quarter. Because this shooter's going to be back to back. 6 2 8. Six, two, eight. Not coming off. All right, so I'm throwing a 20 in. And I'm going to bump my 8 to 150. So now I have a 150 on 6 and 150 on 8. And I'm bumping my 8 up to 300. That's a five and a two. It's a slow moving five yeah. falling over. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, uh, well, that's how you end it. That's how you end it. I got maybe. With nothing. I got $408 left. No, I, I did better than you. I have $75.85. I actually have $90 left. So, I mean, if we were trying to play to as much of our bankroll, <laughs> you won. I, get I get closer to zero. Well, that is not how we did. Neither one of us really had any good rolls. No, I think, I think 12 no. was the best one that I did. No, we had a couple of first points, but that was it, too. But, but no, we didn't have a long roll at all. So, which, if you don't do long rolls, you're not going to get your bonuses and you're not going to have multiple points. So. No, so I guess we'll uh, we'll keep the practicing. Uh, don't know when we're gonna go back out to the casino, just because we're real busy with uh, with work and stuff. But uh, we'll try to do this maybe uh, in another couple of weeks and uh, have a little more idea of what we're gonna do going forward as far as our next time out to a casino, so we can uh, talk about real gambling versus just practice. Yeah, but hopefully the the math that we or the way we do our bets helps people because um, I think that's one of the, the raise from 66 to 150 uh, not many people I don't think most people raise that way I think most people do 30 to 60 to 90 to 120, to 120. they do it in units of 30 but if you really want to press it I think the most effective way to do it is that way and you you know the 66 to 150 is good but the 60 
to 150 is basically the same thing. Sure, you just add money, but yeah. Well, I mean, you're at, but you're not risking six dollars, also. Fair. So I mean, it's it's half a dozen six. You yeah, know? I mean, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much the same thing, but it uh, is just six. Yeah, it is just six. <laughs> but um, you know, those types of raises that we do are, you know, um, definitely they're they're effective, but they're also aggressive. Well, and what we're trying to do is make it muscle memory for us as well, so that we don't. When we're at the table, we don't get hung up or, you know, we don't miss out on something, you know, because a lot of times... Well, it's a fast game. It is, it is. And so if you don't know exactly what your next bet's going to be, you know, you could miss out and lose it. Now, it's obviously easier to, to catch a bet at the live table versus the electronic table. Right. Where you just have the Cause time Because the deal, if you're talking to the dealer, then... He can hold the dice up. Yeah. Or the stick man will hold the dice yeah. up. Yeah. No, if, 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 if you tell the dealers that you still want to bet, they'll hold the dice, unless the dice are already out. Well, sure. If the well, dice are out, then you're, there's you're, not much you're you can SOL. do. You're SOL. Yeah. You're, you, well, I mean, you, you can shout at a bet, but or shout a bet out, but if they don't know you and you're not tipping them, then they're not going to probably put that out for you. But. No, I mean then there there goes a whole discussion. Well, and I on. think I think they're more they'll they'll take place bets like that quicker than they will a field bet or something like that. Sure. You know. No, again, it just depends on yeah, how depends you treat if they, them yeah, and, and if they how, know you and and if you've been tipping them, which is reason to tip. And if it's one of your regular bets, then most sure. likely. Yeah, you know. if you've been doing it all day and you forgot once. Yeah. They might yeah. Let, they might let that go. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, cool. Well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed uh, this little side venture, but uh, we'll probably do it uh, another time. And uh, if you all have any questions or something, send us uh, send us messages via uh, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, or uh, Twitter. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks. We'll uh, catch you all later. Cheers. Adios. The Red Eye Gamblers, thank you for your time. And hope you got a little something out of this week's podcast. Here's to rolling sevens on the come out, and may your sixes and eights always be hard. Cheers.